Welcome to Day or Night Exotics TV. I'm Dale of the Night. On this tea spotlight, we have the Grandma Solar Poker Peas, the Chaco Gogni, and the Chromana Palmaciana Pubescens, the Green Bottle Blue, both molted. It's about seven days after they're molted, uh, since they molted, so we're going to be giving them their first feeding since they're molt. And we also get 100% uh, confirmed sex confirmations on this video on both of those species. So on the table here, we have to the left, and these small critter keepers, this is the Chaco Goldeny, that's a GBB, both just molted. So uh, we got one confirmed sex, um, which is the mature male GBB. And I'm gonna attempt to sex this um, Chaco Goldeny uh, right here on camera. So let's uh, see what we got here. This is Star, my Grandma Stola Poker Peas, the Chaco Goldeny, uh, molted around, I wanna say close to a week ago and hopefully this, this tarantula is a little jumpy so we have to be careful with him I don't think um, whoa look at that um, this tarantula has always been ever since she was or he we're gonna find out here in a second very 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 skittish and jumpy um, it's never thrown a threat posture this is the first time but She's not in a very good mood, but I wanted to get her out in the open because I haven't had a chance to take a really good look at her. So we'll definitely be careful with her. But for the most part, this is not um, a tea that notoriously gives me uh, threat postures or is aggressive in any kind. Just a bit aggravated. Surely this one's hungry. And I was gonna attempt to feed him. This, I mean, to me, it looks like a male, but we're gonna go ahead and try to sex it. Right now, it's sitting on top of the malt. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give this guy something to eat. Let's see if this guy take down some food. And then we'll see if we can get it off the malt. Now, as you can see, extremely hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and give him two. These are uh, Super Mario worms. Get this out while he's distracted. Or she, we'll find out in a second. We'll take a look at this guy while he or she eats. I've had this one for around, I want to say close to two years, if not a little bit uh, more or less by a couple of months, give or take. Uh, this is obviously a very beautiful. Uh, Chaco. I actually got this one after I had my um, my other Chaco Gold Knee. Um, and this one grew a lot faster, which always had me suspecting this one most likely was a male. Outstanding coloration on this guy. I've always really been heavily uh, interested in Chaco Gold Knees even well before I got into the hobby. So this is uh, by no means my um, my last uh, Chaco that I've bought and I'm going to definitely get more of them. They are definitely my top, uh, probably my top five of my favorite tarantula species. And uh, this one was looking really, really awesome. Love the coloration on them. Um, as you can see from the molt here, really grew in size. I mean, this thing, just visually looking at this guy, I can just tell it's just really almost close to an inch. And, uh, leg span between these molts. He was nowhere near this big last week. So um, we're gonna go ahead and let this guy enjoy his Mario worm and we're gonna attempt to sex this tarantula once and for all. Hopefully we can get a confirmation here. It's gonna be hard for you to see it but this is a 100% confirmed male. Um, it's kinda hard to tell from that angle on that but there's a uh, uh, you can just tell by looking at him that this is definitely a male. I can tell by the leg span, um, the growth rate, um, and also in temperament. This is 
100% um, confirmed mail now. And the molt just uh, just put the finishing touches on my uh, speculation for all these uh, releases these last couple of years. Um, no shock at all, so that's a that's a plus. Um, you know, I I don't always like to be shocked. If I know it's coming, it's a lot easier to deal with. And like I said, it's not. Um, um, a lot of people get like you know bent out of shape when they get mails. I don't really get too bent out of shape. Um, it's part of the hobby. It's part of the fun of the hobby, and it's what keeps me uh, going because um, you know these are very interesting animals. There's a lot goes into them. They're not just like a dog or a cat. You know, you get all these little things like molts and growth rates and temperaments and colors. And so, I mean, this is um, to me, it's always cool to have a mail. I've been getting a lot of mails lately. Um, we'll get to the GBB in a second. So, um, I'm just having one of those uh, years where I'm getting a ton of mails. Um, but. You know, it seems like it's been every other year. One year seems like all my uh, confirmations are females, and uh, then it was males and females. So now I'm back to uh, males. It looks like this year, <laughs> which is cool. Hopefully, it doesn't trend like that all year. But um, either way, this guy's cool. I have another Chaco, like I said, and definitely won't be my last. So, uh, what's awesome about these grandma stoles, even if you get a male, they still look to be pretty long. My two male. G. Roseas uh, both matured out uh, like two years ago and they're still going strong. Um, so if you get a mature male of these terrestrial species, unlike some of the uh, arboreals, they do uh, tend to stick around for a little longer. Um, unlike my uh, a species like the Haplopama uh, Abelstriatum that I had the Thai zebra, it matured and uh, was dead in two months. And I had my uh, Cyclosternum fasciatum mature male he lasted like three weeks and he passed away so uh, these guys uh, stay around a little bit longer so that's a plus you know it's not a devastating blow he is not hooked out yet so obviously I got a long way to go with this guy um, uh, so I um, definitely plan on doing some breeding with him so uh, gonna have to start digging into how I'm gonna do that and uh, who I'm gonna pair this guy up with but uh, we'll get into that in uh, later videos once this guy actually hooks out So a quick update on my uh, Green Bottle Blue, who um, during the tour video um, that I just posted, I uh, recently found out that this guy was, um, he had molted in the video. Um, I didn't know, I knew he was going into pre-molt, but I could tell, you know, obviously by the intense webbing, which we'll take a look at in a second, that this guy was uh, molten. I knew all along this guy was a male, so it wasn't a shock when this guy hooked out, and he has indeed hooked out. Mature male uh, GBB now. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be sending this guy off. He's my first GBB, and just like my P Metallica, I kind of have this a um, little bit of an attachment to any species I've had for the first time. Like this is my first GBB, so I don't know if I can send them off. They're really one of my favorite tarantulas in the hobby, and it's not like the hobby is needing um, this species. To, you know, it's I mean, p plenty of people are breeding GBBs and. Um, I don't really keep my tarantulas for breeding. I, I'm more into breeding with my snakes. So uh, my tarantulas are, you know, they are truly are my pets. I'm going to attempt, attempt to feed this guy in a second, but I just want to take a look at this enclosure. He really webbed it up. And I know a lot of people like, um, you know, uh, really webbed up enclosures. This guy, he's not a really big heavy webber GBB. Uh, he never really did go too insane uh, with his weapon. This is close to probably the most intense I've seen it. And I mean, for the most part, it's not even really that bad. I mean, but he, compared to what he normally does, this is um, pretty, pretty crazy for him. I mean, he really went nuts in there. Um, I would take the lid off, but if you, if you go back and check out, I think it's Tarantula Cloud number 20. Uh, this guy escaped on me, so um, I have. I was thinking about putting him in a bigger enclosure until he kind of matured. I might put him in something bigger. I haven't decided yet. Um, he's not really um, a tarantula that needs a lot of space. He really just huddles up underneath that rock, and he's really safe and happy there. So most likely, I'm just going to leave him in here. Um, if nothing else, I'll clean it out. And but he pretty much likes it like it is in here. I, I 
that molt's been in there since he uh, molted. I'm not going to try to get it out right now until uh, he eats because uh, this guy is extremely fast and just insanely skittish. So no need for me to kind of spook him right now until I get him fed. We'll see if this guy wants to eat something. I'm going to put it over here, toss it in, and we'll see if this guy takes it. And here he comes creeping over. So he took down one worm, there's another one in there for him to get later. But uh, he has indeed eaten and doing well it seems. After that jump he took in torrential cloud number 20, I didn't think he might have been around. Um, if you recall, if you've seen torrential cloud number 20 when he uh, took a leap off my workbench when he escaped, uh, he could easily have died but he's still here with us and he's a tough little guy. I'm very happy to have him. And like I said, he's my first GBB, so very special to me. And this is the green bottle blue malt. And obviously no need to confirm this guy. Um, from the bulbous pedipalps and the hooks, you can obviously tell on the tarantula what he is. So, uh, But this is uh, the actual uh, malt. And just like uh, the Choco Goldeny, this one, it grew almost an inch. This one grew actually over an inch in leg span from this mold into the size he is now. I mean, this is almost like close to half the size. I mean, he just, I don't even know how he was inside of this mold. I mean, that's how much bigger he is. Um, lengthwise, I would say on this guy, on the GBB, he's around, just by looking at him, I mean, he's well over four inches long, close to five inches. He's a pretty big boy, so. That's a really cool uh, GBB I have over there for a mature male. And for those of you wondering what I do with my molts, I actually, obviously I keep them. Um, I have a ton, obviously, so usually when I take, whoop, that one guy just dropped in there really quick, but I don't really do anything special with them. I just take them, put them in here, and uh, that's pretty much it. And we'll just toss this guy in here as well. Hope you guys and gals enjoyed this tea spotlight on the uh, Choco Goldeny and the Green Bottle Blue. Like I said, stay tuned after uh, the uh, credits for a, take a quick, uh, quick, <laughs> a quick sneak peek of the tarantula I'm going to be doing uh, the next tea spotlight on. And uh, like I always, uh, thank you guys for watching this one. If you haven't uh, been to my Dare Night Is Ice TV YouTube channel page, go there and check it out. Subscribe if you're new to uh, my channel and to uh, Dare Night Is Ice TV. Thanks again, guys, uh, for watching this one. Take care. Be safe out there, guys and gals. Have a good one.